Hello, this is Ishmael Zaddi and welcome to my Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I will, be, I will be reading from a file to a J text field or you can use it for any um, swing import in the swing import library. Okay, and I'm sorry I didn't upload a video, a Java tutorial for, uh, I don't know, like a week or something. Been very extremely busy. So yeah, um, create a class and in this class, this class, we're going to uh, actually uh, read from the file and we're going to create another class um, to implement it into um, the swing imports okay so uh, I'm going to be using scanner scanner basically is an import which um, can scan anything in the file whether it's going to be an int or a char or a, a string and there's other methods there's the buffered reader and a file reader but I'm not going to be doing that I'm just going to go for the simple way and yeah okay so we go import java util this is so we can import the scanner we just go scanner same thing anyways and what else import I believe we're going to read from a file so your IO file you can choose to write the import so you just can leave it like like this same thing but this difference between uh, writing it and doing it like that is um, it will import everything I'm talking too much okay so uh, we're going to declare the scanner scanner call it scan and we're going to declare two uh, static variables so we can access it from the other class of type string S static you're going to know what says static variable by the end of this tutorial and uh, static string name I'm going to be doing the typical example of name and surname <laughs> alright semicolon and yeah so we're going to create three methods or you can just create in one method where it can implement all the, the code so this one public void void is to return something I'll call it open we're going to open the file first um, I can do all the code here but I don't want to look I don't want I don't want it to look messy because uh, yeah <laughs> uh, scan equals new scanner new file okay so you put the path here um, I put a notepad because it's a very long path <laughs> and um, yeah and we're gonna do try and catch and yeah it did it for me which is a sweet thing to do and if if the file does exist and it does read from it well scans it um, it is working we want to show if it's working or not and we don't want this because otherwise we'll just display this load of rubbish <laughs> all right so uh, SYSO control space um, not working all right and we create another method we're going to access these methods from the other class you know just execute them sorry not access them um, otherwise um, if you if we wanted to access them you would declare them as a static oh forget it it's just <laughs> confusing what <laughs> read this is going to read the file and we're going to do a do while loop do um, name equals scan dot next I'm just gonna explain this in one moment sir sir name equals scan dot next okay while scan has next okay so basically the next is for strings and this is for uh, integer however uh, the name is a string so it can't be an integer but basically it would scan every string inside the the, the note the file and yeah if you wish to do it for integer you go has next int okay but you would wish you would want to do that in another class because it, it's just gonna clash basically and yeah let's go system SYSO um, sorry name plus surname 
Okay, so uh, just to check if it's actually true. And finally, we just can. I don't know. I'm just going to close it here. Actually, let's create. Yeah, just close it here. Scan. If you want to close the file, scan. Close. Okay, so uh, we create another um, class. And I, uh, I can't test it because I don't have a main method, but I want to create a main method in the, in the other class. Um, call this Ishmael tot swing. And you can tick here to add a main method. It's just an easy shortcut, i.e. being lazy. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to declare it as an instant, as an object. So Ishmael are just like in previous tutorials where you just um, access that and put it into the main method. Um, new tot r. Okay. Now we're going to execute all the methods. What did I call the first one? Open, I believe. <laughs> F is read. Okay, got it correct. And we save everything. Oh yeah, we need to add something to the text file. Which text file did I choose? All right, so we go here and put the name. Do not put an integer, otherwise it'll complain. Um, and surname, John. My surname is not really John. <laughs> All right, so we go here, main method. Yay, it's working. It is working. Okay, uh, now we want to do uh, the swing import. So, comment that. No, let's just put a gap, really. Um, new Ishmael tot swing. So we don't need to declare it later, and we just make it tidy. All right, so now we import all the swing imports. <laughs> we import the swing imports. What a failure. <laughs> Java X swing import AWT for, um, I know that when you declare a J panel, it, it sets it to a flow layout, but I'm not sure about the, um, the J frame, I think it puts it straight to a border layout. Um, what else? Uh, if I'm missing anything, I'll just add it. And okay, so private, let's go to J text field. J private J text field T equals new J text field. And ten characters. If you put nothing, you'll just look like a line or something. And you copy and paste this because we want two J text fields: one for the surname, and oh, sorry, one for the name and surname. Yeah. So, well, else? private J frame. J frame F equals new J frame. Whatever you put here is the title: Ishmael, best app in the world. If you believe so, come join me. <laughs> J button B. Why am I declaring them as private? I have no idea, but J button and view. Okay, I believe I declared everything, and let's declare our constructor public Ishmael tutorial swing. And first off, we start with the J frame, J frame, because I like starting with that first. Um, okay, F, F, set, I'm not set title, um, set layout, new flow layout. Okay, and F, set, we want to make it viewable, or let's start with the size, for three, by 100, 300 by 100, and lastly set to visible so we can view it. And if I missed something, uh, no, I'm not. So okay, let's go. Okay, let's let's add F. Add. I should just extended everything rather than just type everything. But 
it's okay with new J label, so we can add a label next to the J text field name. Don't worry, we're going to copy and paste. So F. <laughs> um, what do we want to do? T. Set editable false. So we can't edit anything when we view it. And yeah, let's go T1. No, no. Let's add it first. T. Sorry. F. <laughs> add t now we can copy and paste <laughs> easy shortcut and change it to surname surname and t1 okay and finally we add the button add button So I had to pause that for a second. Someone was speaking next to the door. Um, so I didn't want that to be uh, hearable by you guys. So yeah, uh, where did I go? Okay, now we want to add an actual listener to the button. So when we do click it, we want it to view the the text, which I'm going to declare to static variables in a moment. Okay, so B, add action listener. I can go this. Well, I'm just going to do that this and we go here implements action listener and I didn't declare that it's a big habit of me I'm not doing that okay so we go here public public void action performed okay I have public what am I doing okay and action event e okay and then i believe i need to import that as well and yeah okay so if e get source does equal b then we want to do something here okay so now we want to get all the text which is this ishmael and john we want to get that all right so we're going to declare uh, two other static variables. Static, hello, welcome back. Hello, <laughs> static, string, uh, n, and s. n for the name, and s. I know it's a very bad uh, naming, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so n, we can go here to the main method, n equals. Uh, we can go F, F, and then just get the name, which is here, the name. Or you just can write the full dot R, the full class name, and go name. Same thing for surname equals Ishmael dot R surname. Okay. <laughs> and, okay, so now when we... Uh, when we do click the button, let me just run it quickly. All right, so I need to set that to false because I don't want it to be editable. Where is it? T1. And let me just execute that again. Let me just cancel it quickly because I have this habit of uh, executing and not closing it, and it just piles up. And yeah. So when we do click it, we want to view the name and the surname there. So okay, so um, click it T. Set text to N. Yay! It's not rocket science. Very easy. Set text surname. Okay, so save it. Save it. <laughs> I don't know what I said. All right, and view okay so we got it this is like the very basic way of doing it in real life um i'll probably do a tutorial on it, i'm not really sure is that you'd want um, when we click for example in the real database you just go next to view all the records so you would want to create a loop where whenever you click next it will go to the next set of data but this is just to show you the basic idea on how to view um, everything on 
a swing import. You can do it for the J label as well. And yeah, um, let's just change it a bit. I don't know. Ahmed, that's my brother's name, and Yusuf, that's my other brother's name. Save it and view. Ta da! Magic. Yeah, so that's it for this tutorial. You create two classes and you just do here. And if you wish to do it like the professional way, um, you can subscribe, and I'll probably do that uh, very soon. But um, yeah, so yeah, thank thank you for watching and stay tuned.